the following is a video presentation of the Helena World in association with the Barton School District. Welcome to Barton Championship Volleyball, covering the 2022 Lady Bears Volleyball Team under the leadership of Coach Chaston Carpino. Barton Championship Basketball is brought to you by these fine sponsors. The Bell Clinic, specializing in family medicine for all of Phillips County. This webcast also brought to you courtesy of Reginald Murdoch for State Senate. Reggie Murdoch running for State Senate District 9 with 12 years of public service working for you. Watch the exciting game action from Barton Gymnasium every week as the Lady Bears face the very best in high school volleyball competition in their quest for another state tournament appearance. And welcome to another edition of Barton Championship Volleyball. I'm your host, Rick Kennedy. It's Thursday, September 29th, and today we have the Barton Lady Bears playing uh, the team from Cedar Ridge, and um, I will be the first to say I don't know a whole lot about Cedar Ridge, uh, other than they're wearing the blue jerseys uh, with the white trim. Barton is in their familiar uh, maroon jerseys with the black and white trim. And we are about to get underway with the action here. Um, Cedar Ridge is the team serving. And we have an early score, one to nothing in favor of Cedar Ridge. And uh, my name is Rick Kennedy, by the way, uh, for the Hell in the World. And we have lots of volleyball action on the way. Uh, these are the two uh, junior high teams, I believe. And uh, right now, she's serving it up. And that one goes astray, so the score is one to one. And we are very early on uh, in action here. Uh, the junior high team, as we see the ball go out of bounds, uh, the junior high team is currently 7-1. and one. They've had an outstanding year. And, of course, they are guided by Coach uh, Chastin Carpino, just as the varsity team is. The varsity uh, Lady Bears are currently 5-4. and four. And of course, um, we are pleased to bring you this action uh, this afternoon from the Barton Gymnasium. Now, um, Barton serving at this point. And it goes out of bounds, the score now three to two. Uh, we were also told before this uh, game started that um, there is also a Barton football game, uh, I presume a junior high football game since it's Thursday, um, going on at the same time as this volleyball action. Um, so we may not see the type of crowd that we would normally expect to see at these games. We, we've seen up to 400 people and um, usually averaging about a couple hundred people. However, right now, I would say there's probably about 50 in the building right now as Barton serves. And Barton wins the point. It's six to two in favor of the Barton Lady Bears. And this is, again, um, junior high action as, uh, as I was advised before the game. Seven to two now, Barton on a bit of a roll. And 
and uh, Barton, it would appear, had lost that point. It's seven to three now, is what the scoreboard says. Uh, and we hope our uh, scoreboard operator can keep up with us today. Sometimes in these games, that's been a, a bit of a challenge, but we all do the best we can do. Eight to three now in favor of the Barton Lady Bears. And again, uh, this is Barton Championship Volleyball. Uh, today, the Barton Bears or the Barton Lady Bears are playing the team from Cedar Ridge. Um, Barton is in the very familiar maroon with the black trim and the white letters as a volleyball kind of comes over here near the broadcast position. Cedar Ridge is in the blue jerseys with the white trim and white numbers. The Barton Lady Bears, in terms of the junior high team, has had a sensational season. Uh, they've uh, clocked in with a 7-1 and one record at this point. So Coach Carpino is building a strong program and apparently has uh, a bench because all of these junior high players, uh, you would believe, would come up through the ranks and of course be on the high school team in, in future years. It's 10 to five. And um, the ball apparently has been turned back over to Barton. It's now 11 to five and Barton will serve. So if this group of Lady Bears uh, can continue their impressive role again, You've got a bench full of outstanding players in Coach Caprino's system. And of course that bodes well for future years when these young women become juniors and seniors and they're basically running the, the senior high team or the varsity team. The varsity team right now is currently five and four. So they've had a bit of a mixed season, but last time we saw them, they did win. They um, played and defeated Ridgefield. It's 14 to five now. In favor of the Lark Barton Lady Bears. Fifteen to five, and the Lady Bears have gotten off to a good early start in this one. Sixteen to five now is the score. Barton appears to be on their way here. This has been a very robust performance by the Lady Junior High Bears. We can hope that the uh, the Senior High Bears do just as well. They certainly scored a big upset last time we were here. Seventeen to five in favor of the Barton Lady Bears. And they're prepared to serve again now. Okay, well that went into the net, so it's seventeen to six, and the official is signaling the ball toward the um, Cedar Ridge team. And they also get that point. So it's 17 to seven now. Can the Cedar Ridge team make a comeback? That may be the question here.
Coach Carpino has done an outstanding job of uh, bringing winning to this Barton Bear team. 19 to seven now. Barton Lady Bears. Corey says it's 19 to eight. Uh, that should mean Cedar Ridge should be serving here. And yes, they are. Um, ball took a little bit of time going over there, but um, here we are. And there appears to be some sort of discussion now. Not quite sure what this is about. There's the whistle though. He, she should be serving any minute. It's 20 to eight right now. And we're waiting for an official signal. There is a whistle, but, um, and Barton is serving. Well, now it says 21 to eight, so I, I don't know if our uh, scorekeeper has caught up with us. Or if it's actually 22 to 8, but uh, right now the score stands at 21 to 8. Now it's 22 to 8. Barton on the verge of winning this first game. And it's been a very impressive showing thus far from the Lady Bears. Twenty-three to eight now, and Barton on the verge of winning this first game in this junior high match with Cedar Ridge. And there it is. Barton wins the first game, twenty-five to eight. This is junior high action, and we will take a short commercial break and be right back with more Barton Championship Volleyball. Volleyball is brought to you by these fine sponsors. The Bell Clinic, specializing in family medicine for all of Phillips County. This webcast also brought to you courtesy of Reginald Murdoch for State Senate. Reggie Murdoch running for State Senate District 9 with 12 years of public service working for you. The Helena World's presentation of Barton Championship Volleyball is brought to you by these fine sponsors. The Bell Clinic specializing in family medicine for all of Phillips County. This webcast also brought to you courtesy of Reginald Murdoch for State Senate. Reggie Murdoch running for State Senate District 9 with 12 years of public service working for you. And we are back at the Barton Gymnasium. We just saw some junior high action where the Lady Bears uh, defeated their opponents pretty handedly, uh, 25 to eight. 
and uh, we are awaiting now the, I believe the senior high game is coming up. The official game clock has over 10 minutes until game time, so I presume uh, I presume they have moved up the uh, the senior game, or or they've made some kind of adjustment. Um, but the senior high girls will be playing Cedar Ridge, just as the junior high did a few minutes ago. Um, the Barton Lady Bears senior high team comes in with a record of five and four, so they have a winning record in the, in their in their matches uh, so far this season, and they and they lost some close ones. We we've seen a couple of them thus far. Last week, though, they scored a major upset over uh, Ridgefield, so they are on the right track. Um, they, I, I believe it's a matter of consistency, and the Lady Bears maybe need to string together a, a couple of sets of wins over some big-time opponents. Uh, right now, the two teams are warming up on the court, and um, again, this is senior high action we're about to see. The, uh, the junior high team, though, has done very well for themselves. Uh, Last time I looked, they had a seven and one record. So they've been just absolutely sensational. And they, um, the Lady Bears have a bright future if they can keep that roster intact and move them on up through the ranks. Uh, they will have a very good team in years to come. So uh, Coach uh, Carpino is, is slowly building a powerhouse here at Barton in the sport of volleyball. Uh, I'm your host, Rick Kennedy, by the way, and the Helena World is pleased to bring you this series of volleyball games, as well as bringing you the DeSoto Thunderbirds football over the course of the regular season. Uh, we've had a few of their games online as well. We're always pleased to have you, whether you're watching on the Helena World's Facebook Live or you're watching on the Helena World's YouTube channel. Again, very pleased to have you with us for these games and uh, all of these outstanding young people playing, uh, whether they play for the Barton Lady Bears volleyball team or the DeSoto Thunderbirds football team. Again, a lot of outstanding young athletes who deserve our encouragement. And um, we have another volleyball here come near the broadcast position. Um, so anyway, hopefully we won't get wiped out as, as we did a couple of weeks ago. We, we had one volleyball just really just, just slam right into us over here and knocked out one of our cameras but that's a that's a bit of a sidebar story and a bit of a um one of the bit of the occupational hazards i suppose of doing live volleyball here at courtside uh, so we're going to take another quick break and hear from our sponsors uh for lady bears barton lady bears volleyball and that would be the Bell Clinic and R Reggie Murdoch for the state senator. We'll hear from them and be right back with more Barton Championship Volleyball. World's presentation of Barton Championship Volleyball is brought to you by these fine sponsors. The Bell Clinic, specializing in family medicine for all of Phillips County. This webcast also brought to you courtesy of Reginald Murdoch for State Senate. Reggie Murdoch running for State Senate District 9 with 12 years of public service working for you. The Helena World's presentation of Barton Championship Volleyball is brought to you by these fine sponsors. The Bell Clinic specializing in family medicine for all of Phillips County. 
this webcast also brought to you courtesy of Reginald Murdoch for State Senate. Reggie Murdoch running for State Senate District 9 with 12 years of public service working for you. And we are back at the Barton Gymnasium, where today we have the Barton Lady Bears playing uh, the team from Cedar Ridge. And I apologize, I do not know what the uh, Cedar Ridge nickname is. I hope we can uh, get that here at the broadcast position momentarily. Um, earlier, we saw the Junior High Lady Bears uh, emerge victorious. And uh, we are about to see senior high action. Uh, it's been an up and down season for Coach Carpino's senior Lady Bears, but they do have a winning record. And we expect that they will do well today against Cedar Ridge. And uh, right now the teams are still warming up. I, I will tell you ahead of time, uh, the, um, the Cedar Ridge team is the team in the blue jerseys. And they have kind of a red, red and blue trim, so kind of a, kind of a red, white, and blue type of team. Um, and so they've got blue jerseys with red numbers with white highlights around them, if that makes sense. The Barton Lady Bears are in their very familiar um, maroon jerseys with white letters, white numbers, and black trim. As we, uh, when we start the action up again, and over here near the broadcast position, we have a couple young people. Um, appears they are cleaning up some mortar or some kind of mishap on the court there, but uh, apparently they have cleaned that up. I'm sure the official will clear the court and double check that before play starts. The last time we saw the Barton Lady Bears, of course, they played Ridgefield and they won. It was uh, it was a tight set of games, though. In fact, it went all the way to the fifth game, and the Lady Bears uh, ultimately won, 15 to 13. But they were two very evenly matched teams. Uh, the scores of the individual games reflected it, and the score of the final game reflected it. And my goodness, had they not been stopped by the time limit, you, you kind of got the feeling that they could have gone all night, literally. And um, it, of course, was uh, a very long string of games that we had. Okay, the court has been cleared at this point. Uh, well, now we got the, uh, I guess this is the Lady Bears now uh, getting in some practice time before the game. It is. And um, again, we um, watching the balls kind of fly past us here at the broadcast position. Uh, we have our remote camera up in the stands, so you're getting the overview from the remote camera. And then uh, the broadcast position is actually down in the lower right-hand corner of the court as you're seeing it on the screen. So the Barton Lady Bears are finishing their warm-ups. We've seen the um, seen the Cedar Ridge team have their warm-ups. And once again, the Barton Lady Bears are in their maroon jerseys. 
with white numbers and white and black trim on the uniforms. The Cedar Ridge team, when you see them out there, they will have the blue jerseys with the red numbers and white trim. It's a bit of an unusual pattern, but that's what they have. And we expect to have some volleyball action here shortly as uh, Barton finishes their warm-ups. Uh, so again, we will take another break, uh, another commercial break for our sponsors, and we'll be right back with more Barton Championship Volleyball. Presentation of Barton Championship Volleyball is brought to you by these fine sponsors. The Bell Clinic, specializing in family medicine for all of Phillips County. This webcast also brought to you courtesy of Reginald Murdoch for State Senate. Reggie Murdoch running for State Senate District 9 with 12 years of public service working for you. The Helena World's presentation of Barton Championship Volleyball is brought to you by these fine sponsors. The Bell Clinic, specializing in family medicine for all of Phillips County. This webcast also brought to you courtesy of Reginald Murdoch for State Senate. Reggie Murdoch running for State Senate District 9 with 12 years of public service working for you. And we're here for another edition of Barton Championship Volleyball. I'm your host, Rick Kennedy. We're coming to you from the Barton Gymnasium. It is Thursday, September 29th. Uh, we are glad to have you for this series of volleyball games uh, the Helena World is presenting. We are also presenting uh, DeSoto football. We just saw the junior high teams and now we're waiting on the um, senior high teams to uh, make their appearance. And um, we will have action here momentarily. Barton has another winning record. Uh, they're looking to expand that winning record as uh, another ball comes here near the broadcast position. And the reason you might wonder that I'm mentioning that is uh, two weeks ago we had a, a, a couple of volleyballs just, just, just hit us square on. <laughs> I think it was a spike. Uh, somebody was practicing a serve and they just, uh, they knocked out one of our cameras and knocked us off line for a moment, but uh, so if you hear me make mention of that, that's, that's what's going on. But it looks like our official is about ready to take her position as she climbs up the stairs. And we will have Barton and Cedar Ridge on the way here momentarily. We have about maybe 50 people in the stands today. Um, there is also a Barton Junior High football game going on at this hour uh, as, we, uh, as we're on the broadcast. So, so lots of activities on the Barton campus today. Um, but we have the uh, volleyball team on our broadcast here. We do wish the uh, Barton Junior High football team well, though as they are also playing. Uh, the Lady Bears are standing at center court. I'm, I'm not sure where there's a delay, but now the, uh, now the signal has been made and Barton serves. And Barton wins the first point of the game. It's one to nothing, Barton Lady Bears.
two to nothing, Barton Lady Bears, and they have certainly gotten this game off to a promising start. It's three to nothing, Barton Lady Bears. And they've taken the early lead over the team from Cedar Ridge. Well, Cedar Ridge now making a bit of a comeback. It's three to two, and they're about to serve now. And serving for the tie. And that one goes out of bounds. The point is awarded to Barton. It is four to two now. Barton Lady Bears. Four to three, that serve went a little bit too far, so it's counted out of bounds. The team from Cedar Ridge will now serve. And that one too flies astray. So it is five to three in favor of the Barton Lady Bears. The Lady Bears set to serve. It is now six to three. On an awesome serve there by the Lady Bears. Seven to three now. Eight to three. And the Lady Bears start to expand their lead. It is eight to three as they serve again. Nine to three. The Lady Bears off to a fast start. Ten to three now. Lady Bears continue to expand their lead. They've been most impressive here in this opening game. Okay, there appears to be some kind of timeout here. Um, both teams are assembled on the sidelines. Did not did not get an official word on who called the timeout. Cedar Ridge perhaps called it. I'm trying to break some momentum. Although that ball flies out of bounds, so it's 11 to three now in favor of the Barton Lady Bears. That one seems to have flown into the net, so it's 11 to four now. And that gives Cedar Ridge control of the serve. See if they can do anything with it now. Well, apparently they did something. It's 11 to five. And we have another ball kind of fling over here near the broadcast position. 
not not really sure how that happened, but um, uh, I'm I'm looking at a monitor screen as as we're doing this uh, webcast, so I, I don't always see what goes on around me as I'm focusing on the monitor and the control board. Now, in the meantime, it, uh, the points were awarded to the Lady Bears, 13 to 6 now. <laughs> now, uh, the last point's been awarded to the Cedar Ridge, although the point has not been put up on the board. It still says 13 to 6. Now it says 14 to 6, so that point was given to the Barton Lady Bears. Fifteen to six now. Barton Lady Bears. That point awarded to them. The scorekeeper and I are, I guess, having uh, having our challenges keeping up with the action. Says it's sixteen to six. Sixteen to seven now. And Cedar Ridge is about to serve. Sixteen to eight. Cedar Ridge set to serve again. Okay, well, the officials signaled that for Cedar Ridge, but there uh, appears to be some sort of discussion. Now she's signaling toward Barton, so this is a bit confused. Now the scoreboard says 16 to 9, and Barton is about to serve. I am not quite sure what the confusion was. And the official awards that point to Cedar Ridge. And the scoreboard has since changed to 17 to 9. And Barton is about to serve. Now it's 18 to 9. Well, now the scoreboard has changed, and it says 19 to 8. <laughs> so we're all over the map here with the scoreboard. Um, hopefully our person over there can straighten that situation out. But uh, it is now 20 to 8 in favor of the Barton Lady Bears. They certainly have had a good outing here, even if it's been a bit of an uneven game. They have been impressive on their serve. It's 21 to eight now. And I don't know that you can hear in the background, but uh, they are certainly loud on the Lady Bear bench, cheering every point. It's 22 to 8 now. The Barton Lady Bears. Twenty-two to nine now. Uh, the official awarded that point to Cedar Ridge. And 
and again, there there appears to be more discussion, but the uh, Lady Bears were awarded the point. It's 23 to nine. 23 to 10 now. And the serve returns to Cedar Ridge. Twenty four to ten. Barton serving for this game here. Well, Cedar Ridge is trying to hang on there. Twenty four to eleven. There's a whistle. Cedar Ridge has a deep hole to dig out of, though. And the Barton Lady Bears have won this first game of the varsity teams. It's 25 to 11, and we will take a break in between games. Uh, this is Barton Championship Volleyball. of Barton Championship Volleyball is brought to you by these fine sponsors. The Bell Clinic, specializing in family medicine for all of Phillips County. This webcast also brought to you courtesy of Reginald Murdoch for State Senate. Reggie Murdoch running for State Senate District 9 with 12 years of public service working for you. Helena World's presentation of Barton Championship Volleyball is brought to you by these fine sponsors. The Bell Clinic, specializing in family medicine for all of Phillips County. This webcast also brought to you courtesy of Reginald Murdoch for State Senate. Reggie Murdoch running for State Senate District 9 with 12 years of public service working for you. It is Thursday afternoon on the Barton campus. Uh, we've got Barton volleyball going on here now. Elsewhere on campus, there is also a football game. We have uh, the junior high team playing on campus today as well. The volleyball team has done its part. It's won its first game over Cedar Ridge and we are now in the game two. Volleyball games are normally supposed to be best of five. And there's the official signal. And I guess we are ready for the serve here. And Cedar Ridge uh, wins that point, and they take an early lead in this contest. And now that serve goes astray, so now it's one to one. And the Barton Lady Bear is set to serve. It is two to one now, the Barton Lady Bears. Coach Carpino has slowly built a powerhouse here. And they will move to six and four if they can win today. They scored a huge victory uh, last week when we were here over Ridgefield.
Yeah, it's three to two. Uh, the official now has signaled for Cedar Ridge to serve the ball, which they do. And it goes out of bounds, so it's, well, no, it, it was a kill. I take that back, and Barton Barton is awarded the point, so it's four to two now. Barton Lady Bears in the lead. That point also awarded to the Barton Lady Bears. It's five to two. So after six to two now, pardon me, uh, the scoreboard changed. So six to two, Barton Lady Bears. That point though is scored to Cedar Ridge. So it's six to three. Nevertheless, Barton has been impressive in these games thus far. Well, the scoreboard is still showing six to three. Now it's six to four. Scoreboard a bit late in awarding the point. Now six to five and Cedar Ridge making a little bit of a run here. And that point now scored to Cedar Ridge. It is six to six. Seven to six now, Barton regains the lead and will serve up next. And that point also awarded to the Barton Lady Bears. Eight to six now. Nine to six. Now 10 to six. So the Lady Bears on another roll here. And they did win the first game. So they are rolling here in game two against Cedar Ridge. And the ball kind of flinging around again, but Barton is set to serve. And that one is scored as out, but it is 12 to six in favor of the Lady Bears. And we appear to have another conference. Both teams are on the sidelines. So we have a timeout. Again, we're not we're not getting signals as to who is calling the timeouts, which team. But nevertheless, uh, both teams are on the respective sidelines talking to their coaches. For Barton, that would be Coach Chaston Carpino in her second season. In her first season, she led the Lady Bears uh, to a third place finish in the district tournament and led them to a state tournament appearance. She is looking to do the same now. And walking by the broadcast position is Coach Scott Carpino. Now he is, he is the assistant principal, or the principal, pardon me, here at Barton High School. And he is the husband of the coach. So there he goes. 
past our broadcast position. He waved high, so always good to see him. Right now, Cedar Ridge trying to hang on, but it's 13 to seven, and the Lady Bears have control of the serve. So here we go, the Lady Bears. It's 14 to seven now in favor of the Barton Lady Bears. They're set to serve again. Fifteen to seven. Barton having a very good outing here today. Although that one I think has flown astray. It'll make it fifteen to eight. And Cedar Ridge will have control of the serve. Okay, well, Barton apparently got awarded the last point, so it's 16 to 8, but now, well, now it says 16 to 9, and the official is now signaling towards Cedar Ridge, so again, we have a bit of confusion, which happens on occasion. <laughs> 17 to 9 now in favor of the Barton Lady Bears. And they will be set to serve here. And the official signals that one for Cedar Ridge, 17 to 10. We'll see if Cedar Ridge can make a comeback or not. Well, they got that point. 17 to 11. Well, now it's 18 to 11, and Barton assumes control of the serve again. Nineteen to eleven now. And that serve went astray and now Cedar Ridge will serve. And that one also flies away. It's 20 to 12, Lady Bears. And that point two is awarded to Barton. That's gonna make it 21 to 12 and Barton is in control at this point. Not only in control of the serve, but in control of the game. It's 22 to 12. A win here. A win here would give Barton a commanding two game to nothing lead. It's 23 to 12 now as they serve again. 23 to 12, although, um, okay, 23 to 13. Again, our, our scoreboard official running a little bit behind the actual 
action you're seeing on the court. 24 to 13 now. 25 to 13, Barton wins again. So they've won two games in this early outing. And we will take a break and listen from our sponsors. Presentation of Barton Championship Volleyball is brought to you by these fine sponsors. The Bell Clinic, specializing in family medicine for all of Phillips County. This webcast also brought to you courtesy of Reginald Murdoch for State Senate. Reggie Murdoch running for State Senate District 9 with 12 years of public service working for you. The Helena World's presentation of Barton Championship Volleyball is brought to you by these fine sponsors. The Bell Clinic, specializing in family medicine for all of Phillips County. This webcast also brought to you courtesy of Reginald Murdoch for State Senate. Reggie Murdoch running for State Senate District 9 with 12 years of public service working for you. The Helena World's presentation of Barton Championship Volleyball is brought to you by these fine sponsors. The Bell Clinic specializing in family medicine for all of Phillips County. This webcast also brought to you courtesy of Reginald Murdoch for State Senate. Reggie Murdoch running for State Senate District 9 with 12 years of public service working for you. And we are back at the Barton Gymnasium on this Thursday afternoon. Glad to have you along. I'm your host, Rick Kennedy, and you're watching Barton Championship Volleyball. Uh, a lot of activity on the Barton campus today. Uh, there's also a junior high football game going on, and that is happening here on the campus as well. So. You may not see as many people in the crowd as we're accustomed to for these games. We normally see um, see a couple hundred people in the crowd. We've had as many as 400. Uh, today we probably have close to 60 persons as we await more volleyball action. Um, the Lady Bears have been successful thus far. They won the uh, junior high contest we saw much, much earlier. And they've won uh, two of the senior high games. So they have uh, they've been dominant so far. And uh, another, another volleyball comes flying past the... Uh, broadcast position again <laughs> make a note of that but uh, we'll take another break uh, for our commercial sponsors uh, we have a couple of great people who have been uh, taking care of our broadcast uh, throughout the fall that would be the Bell Clinic and Reggie Murdoch for State Senate uh, so we appreciate both of them sponsoring uh, both the volleyball and their two other sponsors for the DeSoto football as well We'll hear from them, and we'll be right back. World's presentation of Barton Championship Volleyball is brought to you by these fine sponsors. The Bell Clinic, specializing in family medicine for all of Phillips County. This webcast also brought to you courtesy of Reginald Murdoch for State Senate. Reggie Murdoch running for State Senate District 9 with 12 years of public service working for you. The Helena World's presentation of Barton Championship Volleyball is brought to you by these fine sponsors. The Bell Clinic, 
specializing in family medicine for all of Phillips County. This webcast also brought to you courtesy of Reginald Murdoch for State Senate. Reggie Murdoch running for State Senate District 9 with 12 years of public service working for you. The Helena World's presentation of Barton Championship Volleyball is brought to you by these fine sponsors. The Bell Clinic, specializing in family medicine for all of Phillips County. This webcast also brought to you courtesy of Reginald Murdoch for State Senate. Reggie Murdoch running for State Senate District 9 with 12 years of public service working for you. Okay, and we're waiting for um, additional volleyball action here at the Barton Gymnasium. Uh, we've had a bit of an extended break between the games here. And we have the, um, the team from Cedar Ridge out there doing some, looks like some form of a warm up practice session. Uh, so we will. Stand by for additional volleyball action here on Barton Championship Volleyball. Brought to you by the Helena World. And sponsored by the Bell Clinic and Reggie Murdoch for State Senate. So we will take another quick uh, commercial break for our sponsors. And we'll be right back with more Barton Championship Volleyball. of Barton Championship Volleyball is brought to you by these fine sponsors. The Bell Clinic, specializing in family medicine for all of Phillips County. This webcast also brought to you courtesy of Reginald Murdoch for State Senate. Reggie Murdoch running for State Senate District 9 with 12 years of public service working for you. The Helena World's presentation of Barton Championship Volleyball is brought to you by these fine sponsors. The Bell Clinic, specializing in family medicine for all of Phillips County. This webcast also brought to you courtesy of Reginald Murdoch for State Senate. Reggie Murdoch running for State Senate District 9 with 12 years of public service working for you. The Helena World's presentation of Barton Championship Volleyball is brought to you by these fine sponsors. The Bell Clinic, specializing in family medicine for all of Phillips County. This webcast also brought to you courtesy of Reginald Murdoch for State Senate. Reggie Murdoch running for State Senate District 9 with 12 years of public service working for you. And we're back at the Barton Gymnasium and we're awaiting more volleyball action. As, uh, as Barton and Cedar Ridge have met in a series of volleyball games, thus far everyone we've seen uh, has been won by Barton. So Barton has had a very good outing on this Thursday, September 29th. Uh, this has been a very good effort by them. And uh, overall the team should move to six and four which would be a winning record. Now, I'll give you a couple of programming notes while we're waiting for the, um, while we're waiting for action to continue. As, um, as again, we have uh, volleyballs kind of uh, 
kind of flinging at us at the uh, broadcast position there. And there's Coach Poole um, helping to warm up the team there. A lot of activity on the Barton campus today. We also have Barton football uh, going on elsewhere. And um, the um, junior high football team is playing at this hour, I'm told. And we are waiting um, for more volleyball action here. Although it would appear a good, good portion of the crowd has again cleared out for the football, I think at this point now we only have maybe 30 people in, in the stands and in the gymnasium. So um, we will enjoy the volleyball, and we hope the others are enjoying the, the football on the other side of campus. Uh, I'm your host, uh, Rick Kennedy, and out there is Coach Greg Poole with the Lady Bears. I am um, I presume this will be another senior high game. We had them earlier and um, we presume they will continue play. We believe that the games are three of five, then we have to believe that more action is on the way here. We have seen and played at least three games thus far on the webcast, and all of them have been won by Barton. So we congratulate the Lady Bears on their effort there. And uh, we did know from last week when we had the, uh, the football game that some of the order of the volleyball games have kind of gone out of order where they kind of played uh, they played the senior high games and then they played the junior high as the football was going on so maybe that's what they've done here now The official, in the meantime, is not in the official position at center court. I presume when she returns, we will resume action here. So it's been a bit of an extended break. But as a programming note, uh, we'll be back here on October 4th for more uh, Barton Championship basketball as the uh, Lady Bears play a Tuesday game at home. We will also be here on the 11th and the, I believe the 11th and the 14th, the 11th and the 15th of October as, uh, as our broadcast position gets pelted again. But, uh, but we will be here and um, Barton on the schedule has a couple of interesting games against Kip Blyville, and I believe also they have uh, Kip Delta on the schedule uh, yet to play next week as well. And we will be here for uh, several of those games. Kip Blyville is a little bit interesting. They'll play back-to-back -back home games here in Barton against Barton. And that'll be October 11th, and I believe October 11th and 14th. Uh, we will double check that for you, but um, there's still uh, plenty of volleyball action to come. The clock is winding down. Uh, we do not have an official at the chair yet. And... 
we still have uh, various people out on the court, presumably practicing. So there's a buzzer, so I, I expect we will see uh, some sort of action here any minute now. And we will resume with our volleyball. There is the official taking the position. Barton, again, has won every game we've seen thus far. So it's been a good outing against this Cedar Ridge team. But we are, we are set to go again. Now, a minute ago, I believe the, uh, the Cedar Ridge team called themselves the, uh, the Lady Wolves. So we got the Lady Bears against the Lady Wolves. And again, Cedar Ridge is in the blue jerseys with the red numbers and the white trim. Barton is in the maroon jerseys with the white numbers and the black trim. And apparently, um, well, uh, the official has made no signal yet, so we're we're waiting the signal, and presumably we will start action here. I, I'm not entirely sure what the delay is. Okay, Barton is serving evidently, so here we go, the Barton Lady Bears. Serving in this set of contests. And that point, that first point of the game is awarded to Cedar Ridge. And Cedar Ridge also wins this point now. It's two to nothing. And Cedar Ridge is serving. It is three to nothing now in favor of Cedar Ridge. So Barton has won every game to this point, but now Cedar Ridge is on a roll. Okay, Barton finally scores a point. It's three to one, and Barton is preparing to serve. Well, Cedar Ridge is awarded that point. It's four to one now, and Cedar Ridge is about to serve. A lot of chatter going on out there as the two teams continue to volley. And Cedar Ridge wins that point. But that was an outstanding effort on both teams' part. That was a particularly long volley. Right now, though, Cedar Ridge going to serve. And that point is awarded to Cedar Ridge. It's six to one.
And that ball flies astray. So uh, Barton should see a point there. Makes it two to six. And Barton serving. Three to six now, and Barton serving again. Okay, the official awards that point to Cedar Ridge. It's seven to three. Okay, Barton wins that point. It's four to seven now. Barton has been behind much of this particular contest, so we'll see if they can string together some points here. It's been a good effort by both teams. And again, another strong set of volleys. But Barton wins that point. It's five to seven now. Okay, five to eight as Cedar Ridge has won that point. And Cedar Ridge is preparing to serve now. This has been a tight ball game and well played. Nine to five though, in favor of Cedar Ridge. Hey, nine to six. Barton needs to string together a, a, a few points here to get caught up. See if they can do it. And again, another outstanding effort by both teams as they keep the ball alive. And Barton wins that point though, seven to nine. Can they move ahead and tie it up? Well, that particular serve flies astray. It gives the point to Cedar Ridge. That will make it 10 to 7. Cedar Ridge set to serve. And again, we are seeing outstanding efforts by both these teams. That point, though, awarded to Barton. It's 8 to 10. Barton has been behind all of this game, though, so maybe they can uh, string together a couple of points and catch up and tie it. But again, both teams have been outstanding.
Okay, it's 9 to 10. Barton one point away from tying this game up. It's 10 to 10 now. Barton looking to take their first lead of the game. And they do. It's 11 to 10 now. Barton has some momentum. Twelve to ten now. And let's see, is there a timeout on the court? There appears to be. Uh, both teams are at their respective sidelines. So this has been a tightly contested game. Both teams uh, getting superior efforts on volleys and keeping the ball in play for long periods of time. In the meantime, if things sound a little bit quieter than usual in the Barton Gymnasium, we, we also have a junior high football game uh, happening on campus at the same time as our, our volleyball presentation here. And we do know that in the South, uh, football does tend to be king. So many folks are at the football game, and we hope they're enjoying it. We're enjoying championship volleyball here. It's 12 to 11 now, and Cedar Ridge is serving. Barton scores that point now. It's 13 to 11. Barton has won every game we've seen thus far. So can they pull out this game? It's 14 to 11. They are at least expanding their lead a little bit. Sixteen to eleven now. The Barton Lady Bears on a roll. It is now 17 to 11, and the Barton Bears are really asserting themselves. Make that 18 to 11 now, and the Barton Bears on a 6-0 run. Okay, well that ended the 6-0 run, so now Cedar Ridge has, has the ball, control of the serve, there they go. And they score another point, it's 18 to 13. It's been a bit of a very streaky game, whoever has control of the serve has generally scored the points in this one. Again, another strong volley effort, 19 to 13, and the official did signal that one for Barton. And Barton scores again, it's 20 to 13. Tw 
20 to 14 now as Cedar Ridge tries to stay in this game. And Barton scores that point. It's 21 to 14. And we have our police officer uh, in the uh, stands with us today. That point uh, appears to go to Cedar Ridge, 21 to 15, and Cedar Ridge will have the serve. <laughs> and Cedar Ridge making a little bit of a miniature comeback. It's 21 to 16. And they're prepared to serve again. Twenty one to seventeen. Twenty-one eighteen, and now the Cedar Ridge team is on the verge of a comeback. And there has been a timeout called on the court. I would suspect, even though the official didn't signal it, I would suspect this is probably a Barton timeout. I only say that because Barton maybe needs to slow the momentum of this Cedar Ridge team a little bit. Cedar Ridge now has been on a 5-0 tear as they've caught up. The Lady Wolves, as they call themselves, have been formidable. It's 18 to 21 now. Can Barton break this serve? Well, apparently not yet. It's 21-19. This has been a tremendous comeback effort by Cedar Ridge. It's 21-20. And now Barton needs help. It's 21-21. We have eight unanswered points from Cedar Ridge, who continues to control the serve. It's 22-21. And uh, things have gone quiet here at the Barton Gymnasium. I'm not entirely sure what that was about, but Cedar Ridge serving. And Cedar Ridge winning the point. It's 23-21. And we have another timeout called. Barton uh, has, at this juncture, allowed eight unanswered points. Remember, it was 11, it was 11 to 20 when this started. 
11 to 21. And the Lady Wolves have been able to make it all the way back. It's 23 to 21 right now. 24 to 21, and the Lady Wolves one game away from a win in their own right here. And uh, if you heard the roar of the crowd there, Cedar Ridge has won their first game of the afternoon, 25 to 21 over the Lady Bears, who somewhat collapsed in that game. Uh, we're apparently going to have another game. So we'll take a quick break uh, to hear from our commercial sponsors. We'll be right back with more Barton Championship Volleyball. presentation of Barton Championship Volleyball is brought to you by these fine sponsors. The Bell Clinic, specializing in family medicine for all of Phillips County. This webcast also brought to you courtesy of Reginald Murdoch for State Senate. Reggie Murdoch running for State Senate District 9 with 12 years of public service working for you. Helena World's presentation of Barton Championship Volleyball is brought to you by these fine sponsors. The Bell Clinic, specializing in family medicine for all of Phillips County. This webcast also brought to you courtesy of Reginald Murdoch for State Senate. Reggie Murdoch running for State Senate District 9 with 12 years of public service working for you. You just saw the Lady Wolves of Cedar Ridge win their first game of the afternoon. I guess at this point it's early evening. Uh, I'm your host, Rick Kennedy. We're watching volleyball, uh, Barton Championship Volleyball, here at the Barton Gymnasium. And there is the buzzer again. And we're going to have the uh, Lady Wolves serve up. They won the last game. And they win the first point of this game now. And um, whatever has happened with the Lady Bears, uh, they need to, to wake up, shape up, win a point, do something here. In case you uh, can't hear that, uh, there's a lot of chatter on the court as the ladies complete their positions and set up their hits. And again, we've had another long serve, another long volley, pardon me, but it looks like the uh, Lady Wolves win it. It's two to nothing. Okay, two to one now, and here's uh, Barton serving, and we haven't seen them serve in a little while now. Can Barton regain the momentum? Because right now it's pretty much with Cedar Ridge. Although there's a good effort by Barton to tie it two to two, this is a good start. Barton ready to serve again. This has been a contest that's had lots of volleys and lots of action. 
Cedar Ridge apparently was awarded that point, though. It's two to three, and Cedar Ridge will serve up again. Okay, the score is three to three. The referee awarded that point to Barton, so they will serve. Let's see if they can get on a roll here or not. And in fact, they score that point. It's four to three. And they score that point. Five to three now. And Barton scores again. They've certainly reasserted themselves in this game. It's six to three. Barton serving again. Seven to three. And both teams now speaking with their respective coaches. Now, I, d I definitely believe the um, Cedar Ridge Coach called timeout on that one. I, I could hear him saying their troops needed to calm down. And they are still talking now as the Barton team has already broke its huddle. It's seven to three, the Lady Bears over the Lady Wolves. You're watching Barton Championship Volleyball. And Barton again showing some championship form there. It's eight to three. And Barton again, nine to three. Barton on another strong run here. It's 10 to three now. Okay, 10 to four. Cedar Ridge wins that point. And more importantly, they win control of the serve. Let's see what kind of comeback effort they can make. It's 11 to four. And Barton reassumes control of the serve. Eleven to five now, and Cedar Ridge serving again.
and Cedar Ridge wins that point. Makes it 12 to six. And Cedar Ridge ready to serve. Thirteen to six now. Barton set to serve again. And again, we, we seem to have another delay. Not really quite sure what that delay was, but Barton is set to serve the ball again. Barton has the lead. 13 to six. It's 14 to six in favor of Barton. Barton serving again. And Cedar Ridge appears to have won that point. It's 14 to seven. Cedar Ridge will serve again now. Fifteen to eight. Barton will serve. Again, another long set of volleys. Both teams doing great jobs out there today. Although on that one, Barton uh, got that one decisively. It's sixteen to eight. Seventeen to eight now, Barton. Eighteen to eight. And apparently there's been another timeout taken, so um, both teams are meeting with their coaches. This has been another very competitive game, another game that has seen multiple volleys and prolonged periods of play. Of course, that indicates how well these young women are playing and how evenly these teams are matched. But thus far, Barton has won most of the games. Now, uh, Cedar Ridge did win the last one. Barton is winning now. Yeah. 
18 to nine. And we've seen this before where Cedar Ridge has been able to make comebacks. They're trying to make another one now. It's 18 to nine, 18 to 10. Now remember they did 11 straight points to gain the lead last time. Would they do so for a second straight game and get another one away from Barton? Well, my goodness, they scored that point for sure. It's 18 to 11 now. Barton has had trouble with this serve really the past couple of games where the server has just taken over. And again, another superior effort. It's 18 to 12, and, and this is starting to look like a replay of the game we saw just a few minutes ago. That one was won by Cedar Ridge. Eighteen to thirteen, and and you could just feel the momentum. It's almost like a noose squeezing around somebody's neck. You can just feel the momentum shift, and you can feel Cedar Ridge just closing in and closing in. It's eighteen to fourteen now, and the noose just gets tighter for Barton. And in fact, Barton has called another timeout um, to discuss this comeback that Cedar Ridge is making yet again. It seems the past two games that Cedar Ridge has got just gotten these servers out there, and Barton has had no solution for them. And then we see runs like we see now. It's 18 to 15, and apparently the timeouts did not help the Lady Bears very much. We'll see if this situation improves. It's 19 to 15 now. So here is the Lady Bears chance to hold on to this game. It's 20 to 15, but remember, we've seen this before. Let's see if the Lady Bears can close the door this time. Well, Martin lost that point. It's 20 to 16. Here's where Cedar Ridge is so dangerous, evidently. Twenty-one to sixteen, Barton finally wins that point and gets the serve away from Cedar Ridge. Can Barton put this game away finally? Well, the inch closer. It's twenty-two to sixteen. Lady Bears. Twenty-three to seventeen now, and let's see the 
serve has gone to Cedar Ridge, so they're they're up next here. And Cedar Ridge scores another point. It's 22-18. We have just seen so many dominating service efforts by Cedar Ridge the last two games. And again, Cedar Ridge, my goodness, 19 to 22. The Barton Lady Bears just have not been able to put this team away. It's uh, 22 to 19, and um, the Barton coach um, was rather unhappy about that call. And uh, the Barton coach has called timeout now. And whether she wants to discuss this further with the official or discuss it further with her team uh she is she was highly upset over that last call um it's 23 to 20. now now apparently and uh Coach Carpino having an animated discussion now with one of the game officials, the far side official. It's 23 to 20. Now Barton does have the ball and control of the service. And it's 24-20. So maybe, uh, maybe Coach Carpino was using some psychological methods there. And again, the Lady Bears apparently have won 25-20. There still appears to be some discussion going on, so I, I don't know what um, what is still at issue here. The Lady Bears obviously won that last game. Of course, the Lady Wolves won the previous game, so we will, I guess, take a break uh, to hear from our sponsors, and we'll be right back with more Barton Championship Volleyball. A Helena World's presentation of Barton Championship Volleyball is brought to you by these fine sponsors. The Bell Clinic, specializing in family medicine for all of Phillips County. This webcast also brought to you courtesy of Reginald Murdoch for State Senate. Reggie Murdoch running for State Senate District 9 with 12 years of public service working for you. A Helena World's presentation of Barton Championship Volleyball is brought to you by these fine sponsors. The Bell Clinic, specializing in family medicine for all of Phillips County. This webcast also brought to you courtesy of Reginald Murdoch for State Senate. Reggie Murdoch running for State Senate District 9 with 12 years of public service working for you. We have the Lady Bears and the Lady Wolves here on volley or Barton Championship Volleyball, I should say. Barton is about to serve. 
there's the official buzzer, and we're on now to another game. And Barton wins the first point. And maybe I should say thank goodness for that because Coach Carpino was certainly upset at that last game, even though Barton eventually won it. There was evidently a call she did not agree with. These two teams have battled neck and neck here after um, initial victories by Barton. The Cedar Ridge team has held tough. And there's the ball bouncing out of bounds. So Cedar Ridge has the point, has the serve. It's two to one. And Cedar Ridge set to serve again. It's two to two now. It's three to two as that serve goes awry. So Barton up to serve again. Again, another strong volley effort here. The ball being kept in play. Score now tied, three to three. This has the makings of another tight game between the Cedar Ridge Lady Wolves and the Lady Bears of Barton. Cedar Ridge serving. And that one uh, goes out of bounds. It's four to three now in favor of Barton. The Lady Bears serving next. The Lady Wolves win that point. It's four to four now. Both teams, again, battling neck and neck in this one. Five to four, and the Cedar Ridge team is now asserting itself. They will serve again. And the official awards that point to Cedar Ridge. It's six to four. And the uh, ball flings over here again at our broadcast position. Did not hit us, thank goodness. Seven to four, by the way, the official uh, timekeeper has adjusted the score on the clock. Now it's seven to five, and Barton will serve again. This has been another one of those back and forth type of games. That point, though, uh, awarded to Cedar Ridge, eight to five.
And that one drops in favor of the Lady Wolves. It's nine to five now. It's nine to six. Barton regains control of the serve. Barton needs to string together a couple points here. But a strong effort from Cedar Ridge. Strong effort from Barton. Both teams playing top notch of volleyball here and Barton was awarded that point. It's seven to nine. And Barton stringed together a couple of points. Well, Cedar Ridge was awarded that one, though. They're serving. And they got the next point as well. It's 11 to 7. Barton, I, I kind of sense his lost momentum here. They won some impressive early victories, but right now it's 12 to 7. And again, Cedar Ridge is just dominating these serves. Just scoring several points unanswered at a time. <laughs> 12 to 8. So Barton may have caught a break there. See if they can capitalize. Cedar Ridge, it's 15 to 19 as they serve. We've seen some fine efforts, but thus far, Cedar Ridge seems to be dominating the action. At least that's what the scoreboard says. Although Barton did score that point, so it's 10 to 16, but Barton definitely behind right now. Sixteen to ten. Um, that last ball was called out, but there's been no reflection of that on the scoreboard yet. Other than other than um, Cedar Ridge getting the serve, so I'm not sure I know what's up with the scoreboard. But they it definitely scored there though. It's seventeen to ten, and Cedar Ridge has just taken control here.
it's 20 to 10 now, and the Cedar Ridge Lady Wolves are firmly in control as the Barton Lady Bears take a timeout. There's been somewhat of a, a lapse here uh, with the Lady Bears. They were in control for so long, particularly of those first games we saw, but these last few games, e even the one they won, it was a tight game. But they're just uh, they're just having a heap of trouble right now. And my goodness, um, the uh, Lady Wolves have shown a lot of resiliency in their efforts. It's 21 to 12 in favor of the Cedar Ridge Lady Wolves. And they have just shown a lot of resi resiliency here this afternoon at the Barton Gymnasium. And they score again. It's 22 to 12. And they are on the verge of taking a second game here after what appeared to be dominance from the Lady Bears. Lady Bear score that point, but they are behind. It's 22 to 13. Can the Lady Bear show some comeback grit now? Well, it's 14 to 22, so the Lady Bears scored that point. And the Lady Wolves win that point. It's 23 to 15, and they are on the verge of winning another game here. 23-15. Well, now they uh, they award the points there. They award that point to the Lady Bears. But that serve goes out of bounds, so now it's 24 to 16 with the 
Lady Wolf serving for the game here now. And in case you didn't hear that big roar right there, the Lady Wolf score an upset 25 to 16. They defeat the Barton Lady Bears. So we will have another game of volleyball and we will take a quick break to hear from our commercial sponsors. And we'll be back with more Lady Bears Championship Volleyball. And we're back with uh, Barton Championship Volleyball. The Lady Bears have gotten a three to one lead now on the Cedar Ridge Lady Wolves in uh, yet another volleyball game we have going on here at the Barton Gymnasium. Uh, we are running, um, we're running deep into our schedule here this time. All of these games have been uh, mostly competitive lots of long volleys and so we've taken up quite a bit of time of course we'll stay with you all the way through it's we're about two hours and 15 minutes into into the action
Barton who's done a very capable job. Even as Cedar Ridge has made comeback after comeback here. And they win that point, so it's two to two to three now. It's four to two, five to two, in favor of the Barton Lady Bears. Again, a lot of chatter out there among the players as Cedar Ridge wins that point. It's five to three. And uh, again, that point awarded to Cedar Ridge. It's five to four, and these two teams are just battling neck and neck again. But my goodness, Cedar Ridge has certainly shown some resiliency here in this one. They are preparing to serve, I believe. And there they are. And there's another win or another, uh, certainly on that play, it's six to five. So another score for the Cedar Ridge team. That one though goes into the net. So it's tied six to six. And we will stay with you of course as long as the action goes on. Elsewhere on the Barton campus, by the way, there is a um, junior high football game going on. I understand the, uh, the junior high bears are winning at this time. But there hasn't been any shortage of enthusiasm here in the Barton gymnasium where Cedar Ridge and Barton have Battled back and forth. It's eight to six now, nine to six in favor of Cedar Ridge. They have really come on. Nine to seven now. So Barton will get control of the serve again. This has been a rock'em sock'em effort by, by both teams involved. It's nine to nine, and the Barton Bears now showing some resiliency, fighting back. Of course, they, they won the first of these games, so it certainly has not been a poor effort on their part, but the past two games have been won, two of the past three games, I should say, have been won by Cedar Ridge, and Cedar Ridge has just been very tough to put away.
and it's 10 to 9 now. Ten to ten. These two teams are tied up yet again. And I tell you, these these two teams have both played fine games, given outstanding efforts today on the volleyball court. There have been several long volleys, several outstanding efforts. And we have some people making their way into the Barton Gymnasium. I'm maybe thinking the um, maybe the football game has ended and now they're coming to enjoy some volleyball. But we have had an influx of folks come through. Twelve to eleven, and, and this game has just been a back and forth type of game. Both teams doing great jobs. says it's 13 to 11 now so the scoreboard is finally caught up with us and Barton also has the serve so let's see what they can do here <laughs> 14 to 11 and I gotta say for the first time in a while uh, Barton appears to have seized the momentum back it just seems like for the longest time it's been with Cedar Ridge, but now Barton has put together a string of points. Of course, as soon as I say that, I guess I jinxed them because that point goes to Cedar Ridge and they got the serve. So how quickly the game can turn. Barton serving again now. My goodness, that was an outstanding effort. It's 16 to 12, though, in favor of Barton. We're seeing some outstanding volleyball here. from both teams. But I think on that point, I think um, Cedar Ridge won that point. They did, they get the serve. It's 16 to 13. This has been a back and forth game. Seventeen to thirteen in favor of Barton. Can Barton finally shake off this pesky Lady Wolf team? to 13 now but we've seen this before nine 
19 to 13. And the that timeout goes to the Cedar Ridge coach looking to regroup his team. It's 19 to 13. Uh, they have certainly fallen behind in this one. Barton, though, I think has to show that they can put this team away once and for all. They've had trouble uh, with these leads. One of the last couple of games, Barton had the lead. It was 20 to 11 at one point, and Cedar Ridge did come back and win. So anything can happen. Don't count out anything yet. We can certainly hope that Barton can string this together and close this out, but the Lady Wolves. Well, they scored that point. It's 19 to 14, and they regain the serve. And that point goes to the Lady Wolves. It's 19 to 15, and again, Cedar Ridge looks like they're trying to make another comeback. They have been tough to put away for the Lady Bears. That point awarded to Barton. It's 20 to 15, but we've been here before, so can Barton put these guys away? Can they take advantage of this serve, put together five more points, and win the, win the game? Well, that, that certainly helped. Twenty-two to fifteen. Barton showing signs that they can close this out here, but it's been a tough battle all the way, especially the last three games. Barton doing an outstanding job of responding. But that goes into the net, 22 to 16 now. And they are on the verge of another comeback. Twenty-two seventeen, and we've seen this script before where Cedar Ridge has just taken over the game And there's another timeout that's been called. Another timeout, and the coaches are talking. This has been a back and forth struggle, for sure. And for the most part, the Lady Bears have led most of these games. But again, two out of three here have gone to Cedar Ridge and mostly on the strength of Cedar Ridge comebacks. Again, some outstanding volleyball play, but Cedar Ridge scores that point. It's 22-18, and again, Barton is in danger of letting them back in. They just keep getting closer and closer here. Nineteen to twenty two now. The 
action just continues from Barton Gymnasium. This is the Cedar Ridge Lady Wolves and the Barton Lady Bears playing. Lady Bears in their maroon uniforms with white trim, white numbers. Playing Cedar Ridge in their dark blue uniforms with red numbers and white trim. It's 23 to 19. Cam Barton put them away. They got two points to score here. Can they do it? Twenty four, twenty four to nineteen. But no, Cedar Ridge makes a key save there. It's twenty to twenty four, and Cedar Ridge now has a chance. But they got a tall order too though. They gotta score six straight points. But no, they don't. That goes out. It's twenty-five to twenty. Barton wins this game. And now it'll be the first one to fifteen, uh, I believe, as the tiebreaker game. So we will see these two teams uh go into a fifth game and play the tiebreaker. Both teams have just put on a show today and Martin was dominant early. But the Cedar Ridge team has shown some grit and has come back. And Martin, to their credit, won this last game to tie it up. I'm being told now that those very first games we saw, that was a sweep by the junior high, so we saw uh, one, two, three games there much earlier, and then um, all of them won by Barton, and now we're seeing the senior high girls. It's tied two to two, and this is the fifth and deciding game. This is um, Thursday. September 29th, by the way. And we're going to see who wins this once and for all now in a fifth and deciding game. We had this uh, happen last week with Ridgefield. We got it again now with Cedar Ridge. Okay, it's the first of 15. There's the buzzer. Who's gonna win this fifth and deciding game between the Lady Bears and the Lady Wolves? Lady Bears set to serve. Lady Bears win the first point. They can get off to a big lead here. This would help. Well, Cedar Ridge won that point. That ball went astray on um, Barton. So Cedar Ridge has the advantage. I don't know what happened to that serve there, but the ball's still in play, so I guess uh, I guess Barton kept it alive. And they're still keeping it alive. But Cedar Ridge wins the point, so it's two to one. Playing a tiebreaker game here in Barton Gymnasium. Thursday night. 
It's three to one. Cedar Ridge has the momentum. It's four to one now. Cedar Ridge clearly in the driver's seat at this point. And of course, as soon as I say that, Lady Bears come up with a point, a much needed point. It's two to four now. It's three to four, and the Lady Bears are trying to tie it up. The game is now tied four to four. And this has been very typical of these two teams as they fought it out. Well, maybe I was too quick to say that Barton could be six and four after all this. It might be five and five, which would still be a good record. I know Coach Carpino wants better. It's six to four now in favor of the Lady Bears. They're halfway there. First team to 15. They've got to make it. And we are switching to our alternate camera now as our primary camera has lost connection. We will see this game in through the end. Right now, um, the Seven to five. Seven to six now as these two teams remain deadlocked. Here's the serve.
edition of Barton Championship Volleyball is brought to you by these fine sponsors. The Bell Clinic, specializing in family medicine for all of Phillips County. This webcast also brought to you courtesy of Reginald Murdoch for State Senate. Reggie Murdoch running for State Senate District 9 with 12 years of public service working for you. We're back at the Barton Gymnasium. It's a 9 to 9 tie in a fifth and deciding game between Barton and Cedar Ridge. And there's been thrill upon thrill, excitement upon excitement. It's 10 to 9. First team to 15 will win it. And my goodness, this Cedar Ridge team has been tough. Again, seeing outstanding efforts from these young women on both sides. It's 10 to 9. It's 11 to 9 now. Barton is four points away from defeat. They've got to stop this rally. It's 11 to 10. And they are just going to go down to the wire in this one. It's 12 to 10. Cedar Ridge, three points away now. And Cedar Ridge has control of the serve. And Barton scores that time. It's 12 to 11. Now it is supposed to be the first team to 15. So can Barton pull this out at the last minute? They do have control of the serve. But they go into the net. It's 13 to 11. Cedar Ridge has an opening now. Fourteen to eleven, and my goodness, the Cedar Ridge comeback is almost complete. there. Cedar Ridge, 14 to 11, 15 to 11, they've won, and they have won this series. So that is the end of this exciting volleyball action for tonight. 
Cedar Ridge defeats Barton. The Lady Bears go down. They certainly did not go down without a fight, but my goodness, hand it to Cedar Ridge. They were resilient. And this concludes this edition of Barton Championship Volleyball. Join us next week. Uh, we'll be here for the other game on October 4th and games on October 11th and October 15th. The world's presentation of Barton Championship Volleyball is brought to you by these fine sponsors. The Bell Clinic, specializing in family medicine for all of Phillips County. This webcast also brought to you courtesy of Reginald Murdoch for State Senate. Reggie Murdoch running for State Senate District 9 with 12 years of public service working for you.